Jones. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bucs are going to take the lead. And that run massively increased his production in this game, and now he's over 100 yards. And break out your calculator, partner, because his yards per carry went up it's to skyrocket. Right? Big time jaunt all the way to the end zone. So they go with a pass there on the two point try and able to convert it, Charles. And a good job by the offense figuring out their two point play and using it well. It's interesting how people are using the strategy nowadays, though, isn't it? It really is. And I don't know how much that one, that particular play, factored in, but with the PAT moving back in 15 16, that kind of changed things, didn't it? It's really a part of everyone's strategy now. When I talk with coaches and when we sit with them, they always talk about they actually have two point periods in practice now. Now, something they never really did before. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They trail offense first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. On first down, Rodgers. Quick hitter here, it's complete. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. If you're a selfish player, and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. 16 yards, a first down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. He'll get this off to Jamal Williams. Rodgers pass. It's a gain of five on the play, and that'll bring up second down. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five at the Buccaneers' 26-yard line. And again, it's Rodgers. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Jones. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. 23 yards on the play. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Rodgers to throw once more. Breaks a tackle. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Aaron Jones, he scored on the ground and through the air. And the Packers move back within a couple of the lead. So now Rodgers will lead the Packers up to go for two. To throw is Rodgers. And he will dive into the end zone, and the two-point conversion is successful. Still time to work with on the clock, but they wanted the tie now, and they got it. And I love their aggressiveness. Go ahead and get it done, get the game tied. Now your team has the momentum, and you're staring across the field saying, let's see if you can match us. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. Taken at the 15, a short kick. Lane opens here. He's past the 30. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. 32-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Second and six. Again, it's Fournette. And this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish.
finish with the tackle. From the gun on third down, Brady. That's out to his running back, Fournette. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Give them 32 on the play. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. The big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great, and what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired on. That's a big game. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Brings up second and four. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. On second down, here's Fournette. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. 14-yard line. Shotgun now for Brady. Open man is got one. It's complete. And the Bucs are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. That didn't just feel like good defense there. That felt like pride, didn't it? He's already gotten into the end zone twice, trying to get there for a third time. No one likes to have the hat trick against them. They'll try again with Jones. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. remaining on EA Sports. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. And no movement for the field goal unit to break this tie. They're going to go for this thing. Fourth and goal. Here we go. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off with great anticipation. And he is going to be stopped on the return at his own three-yard line. Take over. Tie game, fourth quarter. You're already in the red zone, well in field goal range. You can't throw a pick there. And you know I want to give all the credit to the defenders, right? I mean, they made a play on the ball. But bottom line, you set up the situation perfectly. You've already got the field goal in the bag. You've got to make sure you take care of the football in that situation. And he's into the clear. He's at the 50, the 30, 20, 10. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. And yes, they want the points. So they will decline <laughs> the penalty. No question there. You don't think they spent a couple of seconds mulling over what the penalty would do I don't even know why they asked the side. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone on a takeaway, take the points and keep moving. They do tack on the extra point as well. And they will take a seven-point lead. 22. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Pulls it in at the 13. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Wait, 
The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And they had a nice little drive going last time. Threw the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? He'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. This is caught, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Touchdown, Mike Evans with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Buccaneers are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Ryan Suckup on for the point after. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. That ties the game at 29. Bradley Pinion to kick off for Tampa. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. And here's Lewis. The Packers take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play. But if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. At the 44-yard line. To throw is Rodgers. Gets this to his running back, Aaron Jones. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. For 30 more yards and another first down. First and 10 of the day. Back to throw, Rodgers. The left side completion to Jones. And we are set for a great finish as that timeout comes in with two seconds to go in this football game. So the game here hangs on the right foot of Mason Crosby. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. So the game here hangs on the right foot of Mason Crosby. Two seconds on the clock. This for the win. And Crosby's kick is good. The veteran Mason Crosby comes through like he's done so many times before. And there'll be some happy cheese heads tonight as the Packers have won the game. Well, a little drama there at the end, but really this thing was already decided. The late points get scored, and then it ends on the kickoff. And I'm right there with you, partner. At the end of the game, they knew what they had to do. Just make sure you don't cough up the football at the end. Just take care of it, and victory was theirs, and that's exactly what they did. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Packers are winners here as we say so long from Lambeau.